When we started, he had an incredibly common problem that I, we see far too often. So if you're struggling with the same things this student is, I highly recommend paying close attention to the drill work in this video because I can guarantee you one thing. If you start doing this correctly, you won't ever want to do it differently again. If we take a look at my students before swing here, we're going to see a huge reverse pivot up at the top of the swing where the spine is tilted way towards the target. This is directly caused by the huge hip sway. So if we take them back to address and we see the hips here, we're going to see the hips really, really sway off the target. And this issue makes it literally impossible for you to develop a consistent, repeatable swing because you're, you're essentially you're moving your bottom point around when your back leg is swaying all over the place. Things can get way out of whack very quickly. And as you can see, this player, like most players, is struggling very much with getting any kind of forward shaft lean at impact. And that's where we're going to see the nice flip going through impact where the club passes the hands much too quickly. So to eliminate the issue of the hip sway causing the reverse pivot, we worked on stabilizing the back leg so that we could have the ability to maintain our spine angle. Because when our hips sway, we move the bottom of our spine away from us. And when the bottom of the spine goes away from the target, the top of the spine tends to want to tilt towards the target. So if you're familiar with the top speed golf system and the stable fluid spine course, you know that we want to have a spine angle away from the target and we want to maintain that angle all the way to the top of the swing. So a very good line that you can draw in your own swing is one right off the back leg to start checking to see if you have hip sway. So we're going to do this right off of our student swing here, and we're going to go all the way to the top of the swing. And we're going to very clearly see a huge hip sway where we have almost half of our leg through that line. So once we got that back leg stable, as you can see here in the after swing where that leg is not breaking that line, my student had the ability to maintain his spine angle. And you can see a complete 180 difference where the spine angle is tilted away from the target versus towards the target. So essentially, once we got this back leg stabilized, he was able to maintain his spine angle all the way to the top of the swing. And now that we had the, the foundation under control, we were now able to work through impact training. And as you can see here, and he now has the ability to come in compressible. And now we're sporting a nice 16 to 17 degrees of forward shaft lean at impact where the tour average is 12. So that's about four better than tour average going through impact. And we're releasing the club face with a beautiful stable face with a perfect straight line release also from the top speed golf system where the club splitting the forearms in two out in front, which almost automatically leads into a nice, beautiful finish. So if we take a quick look at our before and after swing side by side, we can clearly see huge mechanical differences all the way at the top of the swing as far as the spine angle, complete different spine angle, coming into impact with beautiful forward shaft lean versus flipping and releasing stably out in front. Now I want to go over the exact drill that me and my student went over to start stabilizing that back leg. We're going to put an alignment stick or a chair, something that we can set up right up against our back leg. We can even take the stick out of the ground, set up to our ball, get a good spine angle, and then go ahead and set the stick down in there. Great way to make sure that that's in a, in a good spot. And we want this at a little bit of an angle because we want this almost touching our mid-thigh height level. So not, not down here by our knee. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to do some backswing training only. What, with, while maintaining our spine angle, we're going to turn up to the top of our swing, nice big full turn, without letting our leg bump this, just like we saw my student do, where he was bumping and getting the, the, the spine to tilt towards the target versus keeping this leg nice and stable all the way to the top. And this is very this simple, guys. This is one of the reasons I love this drill so much is because it's just training. There's no trick to this. It's just very hardcore, nice fundamental mechanics they keep you in a very nice spot and keep that back leg stable. So what we do is we get some backswing training in, making sure I have a spine angle and a stable back leg. Then we use that same feel when we take the object out of the way, the chair, the stick, whatever we're using, to make some nice, easy swings. And what I want you to imagine here is I want you to put a fence around the outside of your leg and the inside of your leg and say, hey, my leg can rotate in this fence as much as it wants, but we don't want it to change locations. We want it to stay right where it's at. Now, a little key extra note here, is it can actually go inside that fence just a little bit, but we never want it to break that fence. Okay, so we're gonna keep that leg nice and stable. We're gonna use that same feel from the drill, and we're gonna make some nice easy swings, really feeling that back leg stay nice and stable.